Hi guys, welcome back to Anti-Meta Dimensions. So in the last episode, we saw that the early game was pretty fast, and we also unlocked the 8th dimension, as you can see here. So we're going to start again, and we're just going to buy these in 10s, again, like that. And it just took a few seconds for us to get all the way here again. I swear it must have taken at least 30 seconds before. That was like 15. Well, I guess that's expected. It'll get twice as fast, but... There we go. 100,000. Now the grind to a million is even faster. And we're already up to fourth dimensions. Dun. 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 Now I get one of these every second. Let me do the same here. It's like we're mashing this button. And there we go, 10 million. There we go. And now, 100 million, we're almost at a billion. I swear that was like one minute. And before it took like 20 minutes. Look how far we've come. And now we're getting these third dimensions. That's so cool. And look where we are now. Billions. And I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I just bought one of them. Now let's just mash this button. Okay. 100 billion. We're gonna get to a trillion pretty quickly. Like maybe in 10 seconds. And then in the next episode it should be 5 seconds. Let's see if that actually happens. Now it's taking three seconds to get each fourth dimension. It was taking so long in the first episode. Because we were pushing towards that first dimension shift. And look here. Dimension boost. Reset the game for a boost. Requires 28 dimensions. Um, the next one will require more. 35 to be exact. Um, 10 trillion. And now... Six dimensions. Look how many fifth dimensions we're going to have after this. Four. Five. How many sixth dimensions we're going to have once we get seventh dimensions in not too long from now? It's just a quintillion. First ones. This is so fast. It's only really fast at the beginning once we get six dimension boosts. So, a hundred trillion, I guess. We're nearly up to a quadrillion. Statistics, eleven nonillion. And you might, and if you're an expert player, you might notice that a, a non-alien, 11 non-alien is impossible. So what happened was, um, 
it got corrupted for some reason, so when I tried to, like, do a little bit of, you know, stuff to get back to where I had to be, um, it was a bit off, and so now this isn't exactly where it should be, but it's close enough. Probably should be at 12, not million. Um, come on. I'm just, um, it's just this process over and over again, but we'll get better. Because like, now they leave me on cliffhanger, what will it do now that I'm not getting new dimensions? There is a new feature that will unlock. It's not very big, but it's something. It's not this, it's... That's bigger. Um, it's just a little something. Um, okay, we're almost at a quintillion. We're gonna get to back to seven dimensions. Now look, we've unlocked the 8th dimension. So now finally this game is starting to shape. Look how many 6th we have. We had about 2,000 last time, but now we're going to have a lot of 7ths. Let's there we go. We're buying things that cost a quintillion quite quickly. I don't think it was this fast before. See, this would have been like really slow the first time, a bit faster last time, and now it's honestly pretty fast. Before we know it, we'll get here. Oh, well, the early game speeds up. The requirement in eight dimensions will increase, and we will unfortunately get to a slow point. Click this to unlock a secret achievement. Secret achievements. I really don't care. These pictures don't like to load. Let's just buy that. And now we're up to sextillions. You know the drill. Ah. <sighs> Just another antimatter on the wall. Nine, ten. There we go. Uh oh. And nothing antimatters. Okay. Apart from this game, nothing antimatters. I mean, that's the opposite, so. That means that everything matters. Yeah, that's right, actually. Nothing anti-matters, because everything matters. Uh, I'm just being weird. Just want to get here. I'll finally have all the dimensions, and I won't just be getting a new dimension each episode. With slightly bigger numbers and faster early game. Hopefully you haven't gotten bored. If you've watched up to this point, good for you. You're ready to become a professional player. I'm kidding. Professional player is kind of ill-defined. But... I kind of consider myself a professional player. 
Well, my where my other game is just a practice, like a training. And now finally, we're almost up to eighth dimension. We're nearly at a septillion antimatter. There we go. Oh wow, these are generating quite quickly. It's not usually this fast at the beginning. Maybe it's because I have these tick speed upgrades. Oh, and just so you know, um, this says 770 divided by 10, because Lazy Llama did not understand that. It's just 77. That's divided by. It's not some kind of hyper-separator like in Birds of Ray Notation. Wow, this feels fast. Oh boy, we need one E39. Wow. Okay, I already knew that, but I just remembered we have to do it on this run. Ah, this one again. There are a lot of news tickers. How did you find this one? Okay, septillions. And we're nearly at octillions. Okay, okay. One octillion. This is up to E33. This is E39. So nonillion is E30, and then it just switches to... E33 instead of decillion. I back up my save between every episode so that um, I don't have a problem in the worst case scenario so that I just have to redo one, but... <sighs> Boy, imagine that I'd have like three days of work. It's unlikely to happen, but. Okay. Non alien, I guess. So we're back up to where we were. Now we're up to where we should be in terms of total antimatter. Just keep going and going and going and going and going. Back up and now we're gonna start the extension. Wow, we're back up to where we were, yet it's still fast. Crazy. Feels like it gets faster every run. It will get slower though. Um I don't remember it being that fast around here. Um there we go. We're nearly at E33. Now everything... Um, all the costs are in this notation. We're ready for our antimatter to switch to the E notation, the scientific notation. Our antimatter per second next. So when it goes up, it's every single order of magnitude, not every three. Like, you can't have 700 E33, it just, 10 E33 becomes 1 E34. So now, we've basically switched notations. Now we're almost at E34. So this is basically the number of zeros. Um... Okay. This notation is more elegant. You don't have to invent a word for every single number. You just use this generalized form. And so, we're good. We're almost at E39. Surprised how fast this is.
Okay, basically, um, what I wanted to say last episode, um, if I add the notation on regular, you just have numbers like N, M, N, M. There's also, like, somewhere in this game, I don't remember where, there's, like, a joke about Nemo. Um, you have, like, A, T, R, K, L, M. It's not that, but, like, um, you have to invent longer and longer numbers, otherwise you'll use all the combinations of letters. They have this special way of naming them, so, um, it's just much easier to understand this notation. And look, I'm surprised. This is actually pretty fast. But the main point of this episode is that we have finally unlocked the final dimension. The last dimension, the eighth dimension. The dimension where nothing can produce it. Not even the ninth dimension, because it doesn't exist. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, on, on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're nearly there. Just a few more seconds, and then we'll do our first dimension boost. There we go. Look at that. Next time. Bye! Why does no one talk about the zeroth dimension? Because it's antimatter. Bye!